Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here. We are coming back with more of this news. I hope you are well today. Let us go and, and start. It all started, the most recent part of all of this started with Ilair Pandora, Vox Akuma, and Ike Eveland making a video on Ilair Pandora's channel saying, Hi, everyone. Thank you for your patience during the absence. Myself and some others will be speaking out of the recent situation. They happened to do this right when Doki Bird was streaming. She was streaming her Neopets thing. This is what they were doing. And, um, a lot of people didn't like this. Like every single person out there that was reading this, that was watching this, that was during the, that was at Doki Bird's place during Neopet stream was like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this exactly when she's streaming? Why did you decide to do this on Alira Pandora's channel? What is going on, Niji Sanji? What are you doing? Why are you being this way? You could have decided to stay quiet, but you didn't. So a lot of people were very frustrated at what they did. Beyond that, you had them later on saying that regarding the concerns that have come along, I've already put this in another one, but basically here in this whole long document, they're saying that um, because of the fact that she said in her document that they sent, that she sent legal document, which was only supposed to be between lawyers, she mentioned other livers. The livers were, were informed of this and information was given to them about this. Now that's not right because there's a lot of, identifying information as some of the livers said during the infamous video now that there's information that should never have been shared information that's illegal to be shared in most places but here they basically said we have investigated ourselves and we found that we have done nothing wrong and they also made a little, little boo-boo that says basically all the ndas while you are with us it we, internally they don't exist internally we can say anything to anybody this is what i got from it Internally, we can say anything to anybody, and the livers are not held by those NDAs as long as it's internal, according to what they said. Now, here's Doki Bird's place. Here's what Doki Bird said. She says it was never supposed to be shown to anybody. Uh, it's only the lawyers. It's only legal team stuff. It holds a lot of her thoughts because that she was trying to reorganize her thoughts, and it was only supposed to be released with to not released to any other parties, only between lawyer to lawyer, and it's illegal in most places for this to have been released. She continues to say that she's luckily they only released her medical records. But what most people don't understand and what I will say here in the U.S. There are protections against that in Canada. There are protections against that. And she lives in Canada In Japan. I'm pretty sure there are protections against that no matter if they are contractors or if they are no matter their employment status. Pretty much you should not share even diagnosis, even you know, when the hospital stays, where even moments of hospital stay, even doctors' names cannot be shared in many places and in many industrialized nations. I can't say anything about the third world, but in many industrialized nations, these are protections to protect the privacy of the individual in a bad time. Now, she goes further, and this is what I did not want to, to uh, have to read, but let's go ahead and read this because I didn't want her to have to make this statement better said, but she did. And one big thing that you have to remember, she even said that she had prepared a statement like this just in case if Niji Sanji did what they did. So she was already planning for something like this to happen. She was hoping it never did, but she was planning on something like this to happen. And that is just horrible to hear. It's horrible to know because that shows you how she felt about the company, that they have no scruples, they have no morals, they have no qualms of doing anything of this nature. I almost forgot real quick. I wanted to mention that Doki Bird was ready to move on. She didn't want to have to make another statement. She wanted to just move on, be happy. She did her Apex stream where she was, you know, very happy with friends. And she said she has a lot of friends supporting her. So don't worry about her on that end. But here is the statement. I was ready to move on. I had made my last statement and I haven't looked at anything regarding my past for a full week. I didn't look at anything regarding legal documents or anything regarding my situation since I moved back to Doki. I wanted to be hopeful for the future and never interact with that side again. So to see it all come back and reopen, a wound that I was ready to heal from, and to have to talk to my lawyer again on how to respond. So she didn't like the fact that she has to respond again. The document mentioned was at first made to document my thoughts and history with evidence so that my lawyer can see the general picture of what was going on. And it was there, and if there were issues that should be addressed, it was first made during my darkest time mentally, and I wrote everything on my mind little by little at the time. I made the document thinking that it was never going to be public, 
to anyone but to my lawyer. Although it was a document filled with my personal information as well as privacy information that should not be public, there were no other addresses or specific locations mentioned. So this is a very important point to touch because she says that there was no other information mentioned there. And in Elira Pandora's video, she said that their locations were there and they were possibly doxed. And she was worried about being doxed. Same thing with Vox and same thing with Ike. They said that they were worried about being doxed, that the way they were living was, was there. This was, according to Doki, a lie. There were no specific locations or addresses mentioned in the document. Regarding a recording, this was not intended to be anything other than a distribution test for planning of a collaborative event between two people, which happened to be left over from one test recording. And I never recorded any other conversations with anyone. The recording was never shown anywhere, even in the legal setting, and there are no other records. However, I regret that it was mentioned, and I am sorry to all parties affected for the misunderstanding of this. All right, this goes to the part that Vox Akuma was saying. Vox Akuma was said that he had heard that there was a recording, and he was afraid what was it was going to be used for, that there was a recording between him and her and Selene during that time and he did not know why it was recorded and he don't, he was kind of scared as to why it was recorded and what was going to be done so she's saying here that it was a do for a collaborative effort it was for something that she wanted to do in the future it was for tests to see if all the all the sound is right to see if everything was done correctly and she's sorry if there was any misunderstandings because of course Niti Sanji probably went to them and was like, look, did you know that you were recorded? Did you know that she recorded you? You might be in legal trouble because of this. You might be this or you might be that. It's very possible Niti Sanji went directly to them for that. Now, she says, I requested that I just wanted to move on. Sometimes I didn't hear anything for days from the lawyers on the other side and felt like I'd be alone and isolated for a long time. It made it so hard for me mentally. On February 5th, my lawyer discussed and said it would be best to show the document I wrote to the other lawyers as we have not heard from them for a week or any negotiation talks or given a meeting to discuss after my request to part. It was never intended to be used for anything else. I've asked my lawyer to convey that and have communication that the document as it was written wasn't going to be released anywhere and my lawyer did so when sending the document. Less than two hours later, after my lawyer sent the document, the termination notice came out. I was very shocked, but thought that was the last time I will hear or think about the document and, and that this, personally, and my own opinion, was the end of the lawyer's legal involvement. Now that's rough, because that means that only two hours after she sent the document, they said that they weren't going to be sending it anywhere else, it was just going to be sent there, it was just going to be a part there, and two hours later, boom, she was terminated, and she woke up to the termination notice to a friend letting her know about the termination notice. Just giving you a bit of history on that. All of the communication was done between lawyers in Japanese. Things are not black and white with everything, and everything that gets more complicated and muddied when lawyers are involved in a different country. When things are conveyed to multiple parties through different degrees of communication, everything turns into different narratives and different translations. I thought it was over, and I accepted what happened and ready to move on. Everything I post to the public about the situation was a response. If it was a month ago, it would have been different as I was angry, but I was also very alone in my head. But it's not a month ago, and I've accepted it. I wanted it to be neutral and private, but now the whole world is involved and the public is watching every step that happens. I am not perfect, and I have faults. I had to watch my dad cry and break down in front of me for the first time in my life last night. Despite everything that has happened, please show kindness to all parties involved. There are real people behind the monitors. One of the reasons why I wanted this to be private is that the internet can be a cruel place. I agree with that. And I knew this would happen the moment this type of notice drops. What I didn't reveal to anyone, and only my parents and therapists knew, was that it was not just one attempt, but two. Oh my goodness, it was two. Which happened a few weeks after the first. My parents found me in time after searching for me for hours before anything happened. I was in a really dark place, and I do not wish this to anyone. No one should go through what I went through. I reveal this now, not for pity, but to state that no life, no matter what, should be risked for ego or winning anything. 
There are no winners in this. Please don't make like uh, make it like high school. Treat it everyone like adults and some empathy with and with some empathy and kindness. For those who wish to see receipts or documents or anything else, hoping I will reveal them, I'm sorry. But these are things that should be in private and the, if needed between lawyers. Revealing private documents and talking about details within will only just make things worse and more complicated as outside parties get involved and will just hurt everyone. No one deserves to be pushed over the edge. So many people have got hurt and involved, even if they were innocent bystanders. In the end, I will always be here to respond, and that is the only thing I will do in public. I hope this will be the last statement I have to make. I agree. I hope this is the last statement she has to make. I hope this will die down soon. I truly do. Even though I'm making a bunch of videos on this, I really do hope this will die down soon. No one deserves to be to be harassed. No one deserves to be sent to a dark place. No one deserves to be feeling sad and dark in and of themselves and to feel the way that she did. She does not want the perpetuation of that type of hate. Doki Bird is requesting that you please do not send hate to people. Do not be evil to people this way. You can make memes and things like that, but do not directly harass them. Do not directly send any kind of threats, any kind of doxing, any kind of thing like that. She was in a very dark place and she doesn't want others to repeat that. And I don't want others to repeat that. I'll say that as a personal message here. Don't do that. I've been in dark places too, and it is a horrible place. You do not wish even on your worst enemy. It is really bad to not be able to get back up, to not be able to do things that you want to do. It is really bad. So I definitely commiserate with her. It not like I'm not trying to take anything away from her, but I absolutely commiserate with her in this, the feeling of not wanting anyone to be down in that. And it really sucks that they made her relive this, that the the thing that she had to do was just be Doki Bird and just do what she wanted. Um, but they didn't allow her to do that. They made it so that she had to respond to this. And I hate that. And they also gave information to people that shouldn't have been given. Don't do this. If it's something between lawyers, leave it between lawyers. If it's something private, leave it private, please. Do not dox other people, no matter how much you're angry at them. Thank you uh, for that. And once again, she also did something in Japanese. Here's the full Japanese text. She put it all in Japanese for the Japanese audience as well. I'm not going to read it because I can't read Japanese. Of course, people are responding to everything that's being said here. It's no matter where this war ends, Niji Sanji Ian has already lost a quarter of the public opinion. Whether you're a dragoon or not, no one should be okay with treating people like this. Niji needs either to end this fight now or make it worse themselves later. Of course, they're going to make it worse themselves. This is heavy. All I can hope is everything will get better for you and your family. Stay strong. Then I read it. Effing read it. This is her second time asking for us to be kind. You can be angry at the corpo all you want, but harassing other people is so effing unnecessary. I agree with that statement, like I just said. Please, I beg of you, just stop. <clears throat> I just want everything to be normal again. And this is just like, that Doki has become one of my favorite VTubers. Much love, Doki. Let's move on from this show. So it wasn't just one attempt. It was two attempts, made within a few weeks. She painstakingly wrote a huge document about how she felt, had her lawyers send it to Niji Sanji, and got terminated a few hours later without even being notified. How does this keep getting worse? Um, you have Kyo also responding, man, reading this is sad. Niji should have just ended things neutrally. Doki still refusing to reveal anything so that other parties aren't attacked more than they already are. Despite everything, just shows that she would never even think about doxing them. I wish the best to Doki. Why is it raining on Valentine's Day? Please support the bird. In short, she already have a nuclear bomb uh, button rated to bury Niji Sanji and perhaps JP, including those talents involved. Uh, to the point their careers are ruined, and yet she refused to press the button. And of course, it's, it's, you know, that. But that is all I have to say on this matter specifically. Thank you so much. This is the Mad Salvi. I will be uh, continuing my stuff on stream and also with videos, etc. Take a comment down below, of course, if you agree, disagree, whatever it is that you want to say. Also, uh, please make sure to treat yourselves kindly. And look at my description as well on that end, on all my socials, and the video that I have posted on the screen right now. I appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. This is the Mad Salvi saying, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.